This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at ideal gases. We'll start by looking at the assumptions of the ideal gas law. The first assumption is that particles in an ideal gas are in constant random straight line motion. The collisions between particles are elastic with no loss in kinetic energy. The volume occupied by the particles is negligible relative to the volume of the container. And finally, there are no intermolecular forces acting between the particles in an ideal gas. For one mole of an ideal gas, the product of PV divided by RT is equal to 1. So here we have the equation, amount in moles of an ideal gas is equal to PV divided by RT. If we substitute in the pressure and the temperature at STP, we get a value of 1.00 moles. So this shows us that for an ideal gas, the product of PV divided by RT is equal to 1. Real gases deviate the most from ideal gas behavior under two conditions, high pressure and low temperature. Under these conditions, the product of PV divided by RT is no longer equal to 1. In this graph, we can see the deviation of nitrogen gas from ideal gas behavior. On the y-axis, we have the product of PV divided by RT. On the x-axis, we have the pressure in pascals. The dashed red line shows the behavior of an ideal gas for which the product of PV divided by RT is equal to 1 under any conditions. The other colored lines show the deviation of nitrogen gas from ideal gas behavior at different temperatures and pressures. As you can see, nitrogen gas shows the greatest deviation from ideal gas behavior at low temperature and high pressure, which is shown by the green curve on the graph. At high pressure, the space between particles is reduced and the volume occupied by a real gas becomes significant. It can no longer be considered to be negligible. Therefore, at high pressures, real gases have volume. At high temperatures, the particles have sufficient kinetic energy to overcome the intermolecular forces between the particles. As the temperature is lowered, the kinetic energy of the gas particles decreases. At low temperatures and high pressures, intermolecular forces act between particles and gases can be liquefied. So to summarize, real gases deviate the most from ideal gas behavior under two conditions, high pressure and low temperature. 